Hey there everyone, this is Al Cal playing Mario Gives Up 3. Last time we did a little bit of progress here in Flesh Colored Mountain Town, which is a really huge world compared to the other ones. Like all the worlds are kind of small. But anyway, more importantly, last time when finally uncovered the big race, which we're promised will have a blue switch, which will then unlock Oh boy! <laughs> oh no, he's being a bird on! <laughs> that darn gosh saucy Sonic. <laughs> Look at that guy! Oh man! It's, you know, Bootstrap Mario versus Bootleg Sonic. Who is gonna win? The guy with the flame or the guy with the speed? Well, the guy who lost his flame and then he's gonna burn alive. I guess I don't know. Who am I? Sonic running down this little hallway while Mario is jumping and mixes us up himself. Everyone's invited to the party except for you, but you can't sneak in anyways, I won't tell anyone. Backwards? Who would do such a thing? Alright, well, same race again. Dang it, I want, I want a bigness. Alright, he's still around. Like, I'm assuming... This is silly. Why is this a thing? Uh, I forgot how this track goes. That much is clear. I don't feel comfortable doing winning it this way. I think that much is also kinda clear. Fireballs are also quite a pain. Nothing new here, though, like, let's be honest. I am not re-inviting the book! That was, uh... Whew, some of these jumps are hard backwards. Press up! Yo! God damn it. I love this movie. Of this music. Why am I keep doing that? I don't know. It just feels good, but it's obviously not right for me. I need to learn to better my behavior. Hey, flaming guy, your kind is in the way of mine. Trying to make my way through this type of race because Sonic is being a bird on. Press up. That's how you get the mushroom. You gotta coach with the fact that it's always going to try to go back. Nothing much you can do about that. Here you gotta do the jump and then you do a snack. It's so simple if you take the time to think about it, but that is asking too much out of me. Everyone's aware that that is so nothing new. Now I'm big me, be young, be able to take my, away my problems and things. Hey, Mr. Bomb, how do you do today? I'm just trying to make my way real fast to win the race. Hey there, Goomba, in a bubble, I hope you like the night. So close. Time up! Oh, that's how it's made. That's kind of clever, actually. Little me. Press up. God damn it, every time. I just don't know how to orient myself. And I'm fully aware that that's one of the many, many parts where I could take back the time that I need. Like, I was close. I was obscenely, okay, obscene may be an exaggeration, but, no, I was, I wasn't far. Uh, I think I'm in a good way this time. Oh, I totally am. Totally am so good in a way. Made it to the line like it was every day. I made Sonic forget about everything. Yeah! So victorious that we've got the time zone. So there's a switch 
Hidden somewhere in that level, there's a switch. My mind, my brain, and uh, several of my digestive organs believe that it might be in one of the pipes. I mean, obviously, it seems like the obvious thing to think about pipe wars. There's a pipe here you can enter. It's a blue pipe in the middle of nowhere. And it leads to a flashy room with a flashy background. I never would have figured it out. Yo! Chocolate cake is pretty great. I will agree with you to that. And uh, I guess there's also the goal spot there in case you go in the spine by accident. I guess you can totally just bypass the race if you take the shortcut and Sonic's all but where's my friend the Mario? I guess I won, but you progress anyway, so it's like, what ups? Before I go back on my stuff that needs the blue switch hunt, I want to do this thing. I don't know what it is. It's the special E. Oh, wait, so that means I won't be able to do it, right? Because it's a special? Yeah. Oh, man, look at the fire. Special E! Tastes great with fleas! Okay, so... Things I there's the there's the there's the, there's the star place, and also I believe in in the darkness there was the one level the darkness cave level that required a blue switch. This one requires a red switch. That's right. Okay, trying to remember here. Let's go. Oh man, remember this level. I remember how much I liked it. It's my favorite level in the whole mid-game. Where even am I? Who knows? I'm just trying to do my best to kinda survive, and that's pushing it a bit. Just trying to find my way in complete darkness is a bit of a mess. The guy woke up and bit me in my hand, that is rude, I won't forgive him at all. That didn't rhyme, that guy wants to fall, I don't want him to, but we'll just have to make do. Gonna go under here, and persevere in the darkness, folly of a thousand. The news I can't tell where the land is at all. Kinda just but barely by really focusing those eye beams that I got installed in my facial plate. Like it's so dark, even the coarse clear writings are dark and then you can't see anything. Like, that's how crazy this is getting at going. Is that another special? Special C! I can't go here! So Special C is gonna be a cave. And Special E is gonna be a cave? I don't know about that, man. So I'm gonna eat. Did I find Special D and I just forgot where it's at? I mean, it's, it's very possible. Um, although it's kind of weird how I guess Special E there will eventually open up to a pathway. Uh, now, yeah, in the finishing up zone, we'll be able to do the blue SNN syndrome ninja knights in Sonic's worlds. Oh man, against the Sonic. What are you doing here? So, do I want to go above here or what? What is going on, Mr. Turtle? No one that really doesn't know. There's a key there, but this is a yellow level, so what is going on? Yeah, you need a springboard to be able to get up there. Is it something worth exploring, I wonder? Yo! <laughs> I guess so, well, because I, I can't really go anywhere, so... Alright! 
It's secretly a little bit more vertical than you might want to believe. So I understand the lessons here. Then all the hoppin' happy mans are flowing in the grasslands. So now I end up here, and I can start to cry. So, okay, there's a log door there. See, that's the joke. You gotta go in the log door there. See, log there, it's all, it's on top and on doors. Whoops, I somehow didn't see the munchers. What a weird thing to happen. So I didn't, yeah, I, think, I guess I need to use the springboard here also. Man, alright, so let's do a tiny little amount of object manipulation. By manipulation, I mean taking it from one end of this little weird courtroom area and bring it to another. It's totally item babysitting, guys. Oh, what a disgusting display. No, this is an item babysitting. This is using an item as well. This is a very long level. <laughs> what? <laughs> the blue! Blue level of the star, um, demanded a lot of attention to itself. <laughs> what the hell? All right, sure. Like I can't touch the red sky yet, anyways, because I don't got the paperwork for it. But all right. <laughs> I'm not sure what I have just experienced here. Uh, it was experience. I mean, that can't be denied. But, <laughs> alright, this I need the red, which I haven't found yet. Well, this. This is kinda happened. Yeah, where is specialty? I completely forgot. I feel bad about that, but here we are. That's a red level. You know what? I don't really. I don't really have. the time. Especially with a scary name like that. Well, I'll do it anyway. Power of the P. Let's go. What do we have here? That is a very nice background. Are these turbo skeletons? No. That is a really nice background. I don't know where it's from. Like, there's a really nice painterly quality of it. Alright, so all, all locks. They're nice, they're square. But it won't help my cause. That's fine. So uh, at some point, a P switch gonna get involved, and I'll. Oh no, not that kind of P. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Kind of punctured myself. Maybe I can just jump this. Well, I can, but afterwards I'm stuck. Oh man! So regrets are just like popping out of my shirt pocket here and laughing at me. Incessantly, uh, Potabo smiling. Well, I was wondering if you want to go back and do a thing, maybe with the balloon. That might be the secret exit or something. It's just that the momentum very much carried me forward. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Uh, wait, but I ran out. What, what am I supposed to do? Okay, there's a thing here, a land here. I, I literally, I, like, I, I hadn't noticed during my previous travels. So that's the only inclusion of a balloon, right? Like, this is, the name is just Scaria. It's, it's a scare quote, but in level name. Oh no, that bone fell, by the way. Uh, that's fine, I can respawn it by going over here and doing a little jig. Alright, let's take a look upstairs. Wonder what's in your hair. It's shampoo, it's nothing to be scared. Fire bars! Still destroying the speed limits. One day you will be arrested and you will not have my sympathies, I'm afraid. Yeah, so I thought was that kind of bone. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I went in this pipe. All right, that hat. Where am I? I'm somewhere in the land before the between the before the after time. Okay, so you can go back and forth. Scariness, but understandableness. I just stood there like an idiot. 
Anyways, I'd rather be small if I'm gonna be ballooning. I've said that every single time I have encountered a ballooning segment in Smoo, but it's been a while since I played some Smoo. Oh, it's a return. Alright, that makes sense. So it bears repeating, and then I get a put on the butt because that's great. Oh, what's going on? That plan erupts literally from the fog, unseen and unwanted. Photobos, just the hops, there's a flame bar going all the nuts, where am I going here? Am I gonna die here? I hope not. Hey there, Potobo. I see you're a jolly little fellow. Well, I'm just floating by in the shape of a spear. Some would call it nice, I would call it fear. Alright, even though there was the illusion of land, well it wasn't the illusion of land, but although there were land pieces there, that doesn't mean it was okay to deflate. Oh no, and if anything, it is time to hydrate. So much water will make you swell, it is an awe of nature I just made up. Uh, well, I mean, dude, I would have gone hit, like, got a time with something off screen, yeah! Honestly, as far as ballooning segments go, this has been really reasonable and made my earlier depicted fears seem exaggerated and foolish. How do you time this, though? Like that, I guess? That works? <laughs> but, yeah, like, if you don't know, it's kind I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's doable. Like, I'm not sure what I'm basing that on, but I'm pretty sure it's doable. Like, on a blind read, on a line not a sight read. But, um... Um! <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to that. So yeah, my theory for the secret exit is that you take your balloon, and then you go backward to the start, because there's a whole bunch of, like, weird little niches and nutches and, and, and blotches of paint. And a so you gotta do that. Then you just float around. There's a piece switch up there, at the very least. Not making a sound. Being real scary. You know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to go to full harvest here. Oh, for a dragon coin! The ceiling is bones! Should probably be worried about that a little bit. Alright, so here's the P switch. It's a switch that goes wah, wah, wah. Or so I heard. Uh, okay, I was Potobo. I was a potobo back in my days. Shortcut! Well, it's not so much a shortcut as a I gotta take it cut because the plant slowed me down, yo. But that's okay, there's still a piece switch here. Just gotta watch out for the bubbles blowing up. Potobo is called bubble in Japanese. Fun times. <laughs> so. What am I doing here? Let's go. I don't even remember this part. Okay, I do now. I remember seeing like those stacked brown blocks. Whatevs, man. I don't have time for you. I gotta go vroom, vroom, vroom around in a car without asking your permission. But was it past here or did I? Cause yeah, I'm not gonna get the midpoint, obviously. Uh, wait, 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 wait! <sighs> okay, so my theory is that you press this, then you go here. Cause you can't bring a thing, but like, if it's where I think I am. But no, that doesn't make any sense. No, wait a second, okay, you use the pipe. So you can go here and run it, maybe. 
this is a lot of work. Alright. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in this pipe. This is what I'm gonna do. This, this is, yep. We'll see what happens. Because I can turn these into coins. Like, it, it very clearly forms a passage that I can take. So then go up there, except I missed up the jump because I was afraid because of the fire bar. Because of the, you know, the P-Switch timer, as ever, you behave like you had, like, literally three millisecond to perform- But still, no, that- Whoa, spike. <laughs> that fire bar is extremely in the way. Where's the lock, I wonder? Inside that- the pipe, I hope? That'd be a nice place to put the lock, I think. Oh, okay, we're now- yeah, okay, we're swimming- oh, okay. This feels like it's inside like a giant stomach or something. That's super weird. <laughs> I was kind of afraid. Special and we're uncovering all the specials. Can't wait to special it up and not in the magic factor and go gonna go down. Wow, this one you have to die to get out of. That's that's a little bit rude. Whew! Man, that secret exit is a lot of work. It's pretty neat, ultimately. Because you gotta play a part of the level in a completely different way, which is always nice, but man! It's a lot of work. But honestly, yeah, for a balloon level, like, it wasn't like, it was super good. It was probably one of the better balloon levels in memory. So, congrats! This is Cal playing uh, Mario Gives Up 3. Join me next time. When we go across the river on top of the mountain? What? What? <laughs>